first off, uh, Mike, were you expecting to see a, a big reaction to training today after what happened on Tuesday? Um, yeah, hopefully, yeah. Um, obviously, emotions aside, my thoughts are still the same, but I think it's all to me. Um, it's a point from a point that, you know, um, all sort of things considered, we probably didn't deserve. Not that Swindon were good or very good on the night, just to some of the you know outrageous errors and mistakes that we we sort of made on the evening. Uh, Callum Morton, how's he getting on? Yeah, he's coming on all right. To be fair, um, we're hopeful. Hopeful, we might see him uh, potentially. Crew game possibly involved, if not worst case scenario, Ipswich. And it, it, with with his injury, is it more just about building him back up fitness wise? It's not actually the rehab on the injury now that needs to be done. Well, I think from a fitness point of view, in terms of general fitness, he's very fit. He's a very fit lad anyway. Um, I think when he gets back into the swing of things, obviously getting match fit is gonna gonna take a little bit of time. But I do think he's one of those players who can get up to speed pretty quickly. I think it's more. Um, with these type of injuries, just getting the blessing from the surgeons and the and the medical staff to know that you know he's in a place physically that can demand uh, what's expected of him with his arm. And that'll be a, such a boost, wouldn't it? Because a lot of of work has had to go through Tom Hopper this season, being the only real recognised centre forward. Absolutely, hundred percent. And Tom's been, been magnificent for us, like I said last week, and. Uh, you know, he's had to put the yardage in probably more than probably what we would want or expect from him um, because he does a lot of unselfish things for the, for, for the team and the club and uh, it's very much recognised by, by, you know, all the staff and the players. But ultimately, he needs a bit of help every now and again and uh, hopefully Callum can give him that. You've alluded to it over the last couple of weeks, the, the fatigue of the players, the amount of games they play. I think George Grant's up to 41 appearances this season. Has it surprised you that they've lasted this long before feeling the fatigue or has it surprised you that it's come too soon? No, I mean, I think with the effort that was put in into such a small pre-season and the games that, you know, that we've had to play, um, no surprise. Um, I think it's the way they've coped with it has been admirable. Um, you know, but it's, it's one of them, Rob, if you want to be successful, you these are the things that challenges that you've got to overcome and, and, and deal with and uh, the likes of the likes of George are probably my, my least of the concerns because obviously you know he's a very experienced player talented player uh, he'll manage and look after himself in between the games as best as he possibly can um, it's some of our younger players that we that we have to uh, stay on top of and make sure that you know they, they're looking after themselves properly you know in between the games because you know, when they come into the training ground every single day or when they do come, you know, whether it's making sure we look after their minutes um, or making sure that they do the right rehab and prehab type sessions, that will happen. The one thing we can't control really um, is when they leave the, the training ground and they go home and, you know, making sure that they eat right. We can advise what to eat and what to drink in between the, the games. Um, but it's important that they take that on board because... The longer the season goes on, the more games down the line, it will have an effect. How much of your team selection at the moment is is down to the fatigue of the players rather than the form of the players? Yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a definitely a mixture of that. 100%. You know, there's a concern that if you play players too much, uh, you know, the last, last half a dozen games or so, we could completely blow up. Um, having said that. You know, you've got to get the balance right as well and make sure that, I suppose, players that are out of form or players that are in form um, are getting more minutes than the players that are out of form. So, yeah, we, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult sort of um, scenario to balance and get right. But, but you know, ultimately, um, you know, that, that's what we get paid for. That's what we do. That's why we do it. And we might have to find a, a balance between making sure that players get enough rest, but at the same time, having enough players on the, on the pitch that are in good form. Uh, Plymouth this weekend, obviously you've already lost to them in the, the cup down at, at Home Park. How difficult will it be? It'll be a tough game, but I thought we were brilliant in the FA Cup. 
for being honest, uh, apart from score. I thought the performance was, I bet the performance at home park in the cup was probably one of our top 10 performances this season uh, in terms of how we played. So um, I'd much take a, or I'll take right now a lesser performance than the three points, if that's what you're asking. Um, so, um, yeah, for as disappointed as it was the other night, if we play like that and take the three points, I'll still be happy. But um, it is going to be difficult. Obviously, they had a tough game against Peter midweek. Um, but prior to that, am I right? I'm thinking prior to that, they were one of the unbeaten sides since the new year. Yeah, so um, they're obviously we're on a decent vein of form. So um, it's a good pitch, which, which helps. You know, we're delighted. Big pitch, nice surface. So that will help. Hopefully no wind, um, and it should be a good game of football. Uh, and they've got some dangerous attacking players, Luke Jeffcott uh, amongst them as well. Is that where you feel their biggest threat is? Not necessarily defensively, but in, in offensive areas? Yeah, definitely. And I think the way they play, I think suits the way we play will suit them, and the way they play will suit us, so it should be a good game. Obviously, Jeffcott's done well for them. You know, Danny May is an incredibly talented player, and I think he'll be back in the side. Uh, on Saturday so um, yeah it'll be one of them where um, they'll be aware of what we can do in, in, in forward areas but at the same time we're more than aware of what they're capable of doing in, uh, in the final third.